All right, the time now is 819 and we're back talking about a nationwide study happening right now in select cities across the country, including right here in Baton Rouge. It's all aimed at exploring the blood donation process and who's eligible to donate. So joining us this morning to talk all about the advanced study is Miss Kayla Callahan with Vitalent Research Institute and Mr. Christopher Bradford representing Baton Rouge Pride. Good to have you both here in the studio with us this morning. Good morning to Good you. Morning. Good to be here. So we're talking about the advanced study and this is something so important because a lot of people don't understand kind of the restrictions that are in place when we talk about going to donate blood. So tell us a little bit about this study, Kayla. So the ADVANCE study is a nationwide study, as you said, and it actually stands for an acronym, and the acronym is Assessing Donor Variability and New Concepts in Eligibility. So the main purpose of the ADVANCE study is to provide the FDA with enough scientific evidence for them to consider making changes in a current donor deferral policy for men who identify as gay bisexual or men who have sex with men. So for anyone who is unfamiliar with that policy, it states that if you identify as a man and you have sex with another man um, within three months, then you are not eligible to give blood. And so we know that obviously there have been so many reports of critical blood shortages all across the country and the need for blood donations. Even right now in the capital city, there's a call for more blood donors. But what people don't understand is that there are these restrictions in place for certain people, uh, one of those subcategories being gay men. So what does the study actually entail? So for those who are interested, they would go to advancedstudy.org. That is our official study website, and that is where they would go to book an appointment. So when they book a research appointment, they will essentially be booking an appointment with myself. And that first appointment will take about 40 minutes, and they will complete a series of questionnaires, have a blood draw, and that's it. So they'll come back in two weeks for their follow-up appointment where they will receive the results of their blood draw and depending on those results, they may be eligible for another questionnaire. So it's very quick, simple, and easy. Yeah, and there's compensation associated with participating in this advanced study. You know, this is so important. We, we're coming on the heels of this pandemic, which during the pandemic, the FDA kind of loosened the restrictions from six months to three months. But why is this so important, Chris, as you represent Baton Rouge Pride and talking about the advances that communities are taking taking and, and normalizing even a process like blood donation? I mean, from my standpoint, it's making it easier for people of a minority group to be able to help. You know, we help each other in the LGBTQ plus community, but this goes beyond that so that we are a normal person and taking that stigma out of it is really helpful. Absolutely, and this is something that, again, is kind of a hot button issue, uh, kind of not just here in Baton Rouge, but all, all across the country, really pushing for the FDA to kind of loosen these antiquated restrictions. Uh, so the advanced study happening right now in Baton Rouge. To learn more about it, we're going to have the information posted on brproud.com. Is there a deadline for when folks can sign up for this? No, it's ongoing. They can sign up at any time, including right now. All right, we're going to have, again, a link for you on brproud.com. Thank you for both for being here with us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Much more Fox 44 First Edition and a look at your entertainment news coming up after this.